wait, wait. You can turn? <laughs> I can't. How do you do that? You're watching Artisarium. You knew that, right? <laughs> My name is Robin, your name is Eleanor, and today we're doing something that I haven't tried out before. We're gonna do block printing. Yes. Block printing is used to make prints on fabric, mostly. And uh, there's a couple of ways to do this, but today we're gonna show you how to do this using stamps, like you did with potatoes. Oh uh, yay, potato printing! But there's a thing that we're gonna try out that you have done before, if you show us the, mm -hmm. the different ones here. Yeah, so these are just regular board of some sort. And then I have cut out my design in leather and glued onto it. But one even better idea is not to use this wooden blocks. Yeah. You use plexiglass. Yeah, acrylics. That way you can see exactly where you put down your print. If you do like a pattern that is repeating, uh, you can match up exactly where the next print should be. Cool, it's pretty simple stuff. You can make amazing things on fabric. Let's do this. Whoa. I can do that. Do it. Oh, wow. Oh my God, once again, once again, one more time. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Let's begin. I got my old uh, t-shirts that I'm not using anymore. Uh, perfect to try out. Subscribe, by the way. Oh yeah, we need to remove the ASMR. You have prepared some uh, patterns that you want to do? Exactly, and I thought that I were going to make four different blocks, mm -hmm. and then I can use them to make different uh, new patterns oh, cool. with different colors and stuff. So what you want to do is take your design and then you put it underneath the glass and then you trace it. And then you can trace the outlines as well. Next. Make sure to use a waterproof marker when you mark the plastic so it don't rub off when you handle your things later. Okay, so we tried to saw the pieces out, but uh, it was really hard because the plastic melted. Uh, so it was just making a lot of blobbiness and also the acrylic cracked because it's so thin. So we just turned to the knife, just uh, making a few cuts and then... Of course, of course, that's much better. Don't use a saw, use a knife and just... Boom. Be careful so you don't cut yourself. Yeah. I uh, went away to make my pattern in the computer. I wanted to make the Artisarium logo as a repeating pattern, but it just turned out to be too big and too complicated. So I'm just gonna turn to making one A, a simple A. Now we have our acrylic pieces. What's next? Next, we take our material we want to um, use as the actual stamp. You could use leather. Yeah. But this time we are going to use a rubbery material we found in our stashes. It's dense but, but very flexible. So it's perfect for making stamps. Yeah. And we are going to cut out our designs. Basically do the exact same thing we did with this but now we're cutting out the pieces to trace this and then cut out the stamp pieces and then put it on the plexiglass. Exactly. Super important. Don't forget to mirror your pieces before you cut them out. Yeah. Be careful when you cut. First thing you should do is make a small cut just where the edges are. Then 
you can go on making the cuts deeper. Oh, I didn't mirror this. Oh. I just told you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Cut out my second piece here, so it got some grooves in it. And uh, you're done with yours. What kind of glue do we use? The one that sticks. I think RX glue will work. I'm gonna try RX. A little bit with sandpaper. Precisely. Yeah. Actually, I will cut some uh, lines in the rubber, so the glue has something to stick to also on the rubber side. <laughs> and here for the default pose. Pascal. Okay, uh, I needed to re-glue mine, um, okay. so I need to wait a little bit before I put it on once yeah. again. I'm just gonna put that aside, but yours are dry! So, let's go on to the next step, where yeah. we actually print on the shirt. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Tyler want to print his paws. Do you want to print your paws? Here, yeah, print the paw. Paw, paw. Paw print. What do we use these for? So, here we have our textile paint. To get the paint evenly onto your printing block, you would want to dip a sponge in your paint and dip it so it's not too much on it. Yeah. And then just dab it evenly onto your printing block. Okay, so you don't get too much color. You can't do this in oh, color yeah. and then... Another thing yes. is when you're printing on an actual garment, yep. one good thing to have in between is some cardboard. Yep. If you have like a lighter fabric, it doesn't print through. Oh, to the other side. To the yeah. other side. Yeah. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know where I want to print my logo. No? I mean, the most boring place to put it mm -hmm. is here. Yeah. Like right on the heart. Maybe it should like a, a lot of them crawling up from the bottom or something. Wow. Okay, dip into the paint, dabbing onto here. Even. Yeah. And now. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! Okay, I could have used a bit more. Color. Color. Yeah. Can you do? Can you press it once again on the same place? Yeah. On the same let's spot. Let's try. Ooh. There nice. we go. Ah, looks good. Cool. Let's do more. Yay! One, two, three. Soup. Oops. <laughs> Stuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. It did what it was supposed to do. I think it's better on t-shirt material. Yeah. Can I try Absolutely. this now? Yeah. Good. Okay. So the mother of pearl color I chose uh, didn't want to stick to the fabric, but. When it dried up on my printing block and I used another color on top of it, it came off. So I'm thinking I might be able to do this on purpose. Okay, 1,000 Swedish kroner to me, from you. What? If it lines up. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I'm on it. I <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it won't line up. No. Oh, crap. I should have asked a thousand crowns of you if it didn't line up. Too late. That, my friends, is artistic freedom. It is. I think it I looks kind of cool. I can make a tiny A here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, cute! <laughs> Should I make a small one here too? <laughs> Why not? Of course. <laughs> Look what I made! <laughs> Look what I made! Can you see what I made? No. I made uh. a cat! Oh! Oh, nice. Okay, should we continue tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's sleep. Okay. When we wake. Good morning, good boy. Good morning, good boy. You found out a great way to print using just triangles and making larger and larger patterns with uh, with the triangles. Yeah. And it looked so good. So we actually thought that we would continue doing more blocks uh, with just simple squares and uh, circles and stuff. So let's do that. Let's yeah. make some more blocks. Colors crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. <laughs> Pascal, we're working. Yes, I am sitting on the acrylic. Fully aware, humans. Here you can lie. You can lie here. Okay, that's the last one. I made seven. <laughs> I made five. Okay, so give me something. What am I gonna do? First thing you uh, think okay. about. Forest. Forest? Hmm. Yep, I can work with that. Thanks! Smushy, smushy. Yeah, this is nice. That's my name from now on. Okay, Eleanor, I think we need to stop for today soon. You can continue though, you know that. You can do this how much you want, but for the viewers, I think we need to wrap. Okay, okay then, okay then. Okay then, let's make a presentation of what we've done. Okay.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Uh, tell and us. Comment. We want to know everything. What do you want to see us do? What do you want to uh, see us not do? If you wrote something in the comments, what would you write? Write that. Write that. Just dots. You know, silence. Mm. Write silence in the comments. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>